today's video is brought to you by Simply Safe. Dan, check this out. This is my new fidget toy from Bernie from Works by Solo. Super cool. He's got a video on it. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about. I went to the pet bed store and picked up a couple pet beds, and today we're going to make a base for this. The, the flat part of the base we're going to make out of plywood, and we're going to do some kerf bending. I don't normally work like this. I usually love to work with plans, but today I'm just going to work with this idea that I have in my head. And the bed is going to do something along the lines of this, if you're looking at it from the front. And then, you know, this will 3D view. And then there'll be uh, a leg out front, a solid piece of wood. And then one in the back. So maybe this is only three pieces. And then this sits on top of that. So that's the idea that I'm working with. I don't have any measurements. We're just going to work on the fly today. But the very first thing we need to do is head to KenCraft and go pick up some wood. Dan, you ready? This thing is awesome. back from KenCraft, we've got a couple of beautiful pieces of cherry. For this top right here, we're going to use a piece of plywood, and Dan, I apologize, but it's right there, which means we have to remove this, or you have to remove this, and I'll film you. How about that? And there's the plywood. Don't bury your plywood. So, uh, this side looks good. So we'll cut up, we'll start cutting this up. We'll cut this up to size, we'll cut it. Dan, let's, let's cut this board, this one. This will be the top. And so on the bottom here, we're just gonna cut a series of curves all the way down. That's gonna give us some flexibility. It'll make the plywood flexible. I got my blade set just below the veneer and we're going to move the board a quarter of an inch after every curve cut. And we're guessing here, but I think a quarter of an inch is going to work. I made that first cut and I decided I'm actually gonna go a little bit further. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna move my fence three eighths of an inch every single time. I think, I think that's gonna work. I think everything is an experiment, everything. There it is, we got, I didn't do the middle, didn't think it was necessary, but we got the two sides, pretty, pretty darn flexible, lots of options. I'm just gonna take some scrap and kind of show you what I'm thinking it could look like. So now we need to transfer this curve onto a piece of paper and use that as a template. That looks okay. I think I'm, I'm gonna have this come down a little bit more, just a, uh, Give it a little, you know what I'm saying, Dan? You have no idea what I'm saying. Oh, you do, you do. Dan knows. So I decided I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter so the end overhangs. So I'll cut this off here. And then because of that, I want to kind of ease that curve a little bit more. 
I think that's what I want to do. And now we're going to use a piece of plywood again for this. And then we'll trace this out on there. Double sided tape on here, two at a time. Where's our band saw? It's just gonna go on there like so. That has a little overhang. It's inset a little bit. So now we have this upside down. And I think we're just gonna throw some glue on here and clamp that up like so. So I was having a little bit of trouble getting this clamp on because it wants to slide because of all the crazy angles. So I just cut a little wedge out of some scrap and then I would throw that on there. And then I found my wedge sliding. So sandpaper folded over on top of that, clamp that down. That ain't sliding anywhere. We're just gonna let that sit and dry for about an hour. A moment of truth. Ah, look at that. That looks good. That, ah. Dan, don't you wanna be a wiener dog? Don't you wanna be a wiener dog? Before we tackle the front and back, I wanna cover the edges here and on the feet with some solid cherry. So I'm just gonna to go to the table saw and cut some thin strips. Cool little trick if you wanna cut thin strips on the table saw and you don't want that thin piece between the blade and the fence. You do it on the outside of the blade and you kind of get it set up to where you want it. And then you can throw in a stop. I just have this magnet here. And every time I cut a piece, I can just put it up against that stop and move my fence. So now we're gonna take some blue tape and some glue and glue on these pieces right there to cover up the edge. Or just do this all day. Why would you do a thing like that? I don't know, why do I try to ruin my own videos? Now we're gonna use some solid cherry for the front and the back. I'm just gonna place it up against here and kind of draw a line. Cut this out right here. And then resaw this into two. Once again, we're just gonna glue this on there. Now this time, I want there to be a little lip all along the top. That way we can take a flush trim router and And the last thing, I want to do, oh Dan, continuity. Last thing I want to do is put a little round over bit on there. So because we have two wiener dogs, I went ahead and made two beds. So the last thing that I have to do is sand and finish them. And while I'm sanding and finishing, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, and that is Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an easy to use, customizable home security system free of contracts and hidden costs. Recently, they've upgraded their system so the devices are now half the size as before with double the range and five times faster speeds. 
Simply Safe provides 24 7 professional monitoring. Years ago, my father was in the hospital and we installed Simply Safe at his house. And in the middle of the night, we got a call from Simply Safe saying the back door had been opened and there was motion detected in the house. Simply Safe called the sheriff's department immediately, which took care of the problem. You got smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors, doorbell cameras, motion detectors, video cameras, water damage sensors, and a lot more, and works even if you lose power and Wi-Fi. PC Mag named it Editor's Choice. It's used by police departments across the country, used by more than 3 million people. It's like 50 cents a day and there are no contracts. The Simply Safe app is beautiful and easy to use. You can lock and unlock remotely. You can disarm and arm remotely. You can grant guests unique access codes, all from your phone, no matter where you are in the world. Please visit simplysafe.com slash make something. There's also a link in the description as well as the comments. We've been using them for years, way before they were a sponsor. Thank you Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Well, there they are. I think that came out pretty darn good for not having a plan and just kind of working off the fly. It looks pretty much like the drawing and what was in my head. Let's get the uh, let's get the beds on here, and they just sit on top like that. So we have two wiener dogs. This is Weens. Weens is really old. He's uh, he's about 16 years old, and this is Wally. Wally is two years old. They both like to use pillows as pillows. They're weird dogs. So I think this little curry part up here, they're going to rest their head on. So I think they're really going to enjoy this. Down in the front here, you see there's a little gap. When I glued it up, it pulled that plywood piece uh, a little bit and created, created that gap. And I thought about sanding away that gap and I thought, no, I'm gonna leave it there. It looks, it looks kind of cool. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to glue some felt on the bottom there so it doesn't scrape up the wood floor. All in all, really happy with the way it came out. All of the solid wood comes from my friends at KenCraft. I was going to use solid wood for the front and then just decided to use plywood. So I ended up with too much cherry, but it's beautiful cherry, so I'm gonna find something else to use it for. Uh, so anyways, check out KenCraft at KenCraftCompany.com. They do sell online, and I am doing a meetup at KenCraft on Saturday, June 6th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So if you're in the Toledo area, come by, say hello. I'll have some stickers. I might have some t-shirts and some other things. I'm thinking about trying to make up like a batch of 10 or 20 of something that I can make and then sell or give away at that show. So again, that's June 6th. We're having a meetup at my favorite hardwood dealer, KenCraft in Toledo, Ohio. So Dan and I are working on some really cool videos this spring. We're doing some pretty creative things outside of woodworking, outside of the shop. So really cool videos heading your way. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell if you're into that kind of stuff. And we will see you soon, real soon. All right, folks, that is it. As always, be safe, have fun, stay passionate, and make something. That came out good. I'm really happy with it. Bending plywood's easy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs>